We'd love to hear from you with any questions or comments you may have. Send an email to info at jodyharrisonbauer.com. That's info at jodyharrisonbauer.com. Now, back to Fearlessly Authentic. Hello, everybody. Welcome back with my guest, Paul Busetta, who is the publisher of Strong Fitness Magazine. And no, the photographer. Are you the publisher too? Well, okay. Well, do you want me to give you a history on it? Yeah, go ahead, please. So I, uh, wow. Okay. Oxygen Max, Robert Kennedy ended up passing away. Mm-hmm. And um, shortly after he passed away, Robert, uh, the, uh, the publishing house went bankrupt. And so I was shooting for Oxygen on the Friday and I got the call. I said, hey, did you hear Oxygen is no more? It's bankrupt. And I was like, wow. Okay. And I realized I'm out of a job. I was like, just like that, I'm out of a job. Mind you, I had lots of work on the side of that, but I was out of work. So Saturday, I decided, I went to bed Saturday morning, I decided there's a giant void in the fitness industry. I'm starting strong. So I picked, I, I called the, the, the best staff that Oxygen had and I hired them the next day. And that's how Strong started. Wow. Yeah, the very next day. And so, but okay, so recently um, within the last month, uh, my and my wife was publisher and president and I just took on the chief photographer title because I I kind of found it odd that a man should be at the helm of a women's empowerment magazine I just it didn't see it didn't sit right with me I never I, I don't know why it just doesn't feel right so my wife was president and all the staff female um, and except for me and uh, and then recently now um, we've taken on a, a partnership uh, with uh, Jennifer Van Barneveld and her husband and Vince, uh, um, and uh, she is now officially the what's her title? <laughs> okay, he's she's president and he's CEO. And Got I'm, it. I'm, I'm literally I'm still just uh, uh, the chief photographer. So you created Strong the day after. What was that about three, four years ago? Five years ago? Seven. Oh wow, it's yeah, been that it was, long. It was seven years ago, yeah. Well, I, I, I love, I love that you call it strong. I think that's such a great name. I love the covers. I I knew that you were really involved. I didn't know to what extent, uh, and it it just speaks so strongly to empowering women. Yeah. And I love that you just decided to say, okay, this is going to continue on, but be super empowering to women. So you started the strong camps. Yeah, well, okay, but with the magazine, and, mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll jump back on this front. Yeah. Page. With, the, with the magazines, one of the mandates that when I sat down with the editor in chief, Kirsten Brown, is that, and I ne- never thought it was quite right, never quite felt right for me, was that the, the women working out in oxygen back then um, were always smiling. So, you know, like they'd be doing like, and, and to me, it seemed like what a man's opinion of what a woman in fitness should look like. And it, it never kind of sat right. I always thought, no, it needs to be a little bit more like, let's show the intensity of the workout. Let's, you know, show the empowerment of it. Not so much, I'm pretty and I lift weight. And, uh, you know, and Kirsten, absolutely on board with it. She's like, that's the way it's got to be. And uh, so we shot it differently. And we started with black and white covers. We were making it gritty. We were, you know, women were showing off their calluses from their workouts and, uh, um, you know, doing their personal best. And it wasn't about um you know what stylish outfit they were wearing or you know the makeup it was more about you know reaching personal bests and goals and uh uh you know hitting it out of the park so to speak uh with their fitness uh regimen and so that's the you know it was a a very kind of a strong-willed approach to to fitness it was a little different than what the industry was used to and uh so then to come to to go with that uh we started strong camps and and uh, this is a series of, uh, of camps across North America. And um, I attend most of them. And uh, yeah, and they're amazing weekends. And what everyone kind of says, you know, this is false advertising because this is not just a fitness uh, weekend, this emotional weekend. And it's a, it's a roller coaster of emotion and uh, there's bonding uh, exercises that go on. And uh, like by, I've had a few people say by lunch, time on the first day if that was it for strong camp it was the best weekend they ever had wow and uh so yeah yeah they're very empowering uh weekends 
look what you've built. And you built this by just thinking, I, I think that you are very, very in touch with a woman's mindset. I think so. I'm, all my friends are women. I, I, I don't really have many male friends. And your wife is great with that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, she was the president. She's like, okay, you're going to the strong camp, you're doing this, that. You know, I'm just a pretty face. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> but I think that's so important to understand like what's really going through a woman's head in either a photo shoot or in having them in the photo shoot lifting weights. Because I know that when I'm lifting, I'm not smiling, right? Yeah. I'm thinking about, okay, how many more reps do I have to do? How many more sets do I have to go? And I'm getting really hungry and I just want to get through this, but I stay focused. And I think that's what you capture is that, that incredible focus that so many women have when they're trying to reach their goals, whether it's for a show or personal best or whatever, you really, really capture that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. And I think that draws in a lot of, a lot of women. And I love the idea of the strong camps. So what about men? are there any men that have reached out to strong magazine and said, well, what about me? Like, do you have something for men? Because a lot of men, you know, want to be, feel empowered as well. Um, not yet. Okay. Uh, we've, we've talked about it. Like we, we, we also have a supplement line and we were thinking, well, I mean, to be able to reach a, a bigger audience with, uh, with a supplement has come out with something. I mean, that's de dedicated for men. And the best way to do that is to have the own, our own, men's magazine but uh, you know all the all the staff at strong is like no this is for us girls this is this is for us this is, the guys don't get to share this so they're they're kind of they're, i don't know they, they feel very strongly about keeping it all of it I, I i listen to a lot of podcasts and they talk about how women it, it regarding sex, fitness, relationships, that we sort of live still in a man's world. That, you know, the pictures that people want to see are, you know, of women, are of the way a man wants to see a woman. And that's what I'm, I, I find so amazing about what you're saying today is that you know already that you are shooting this from what maybe, what another woman wants to see another woman doing. And maybe a man loves it too, but you're not really taking into consideration what that man is thinking. You're thinking, I want to empower and inspire other women with these pictures, with this workout, with this weekend, whatever it is. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely true. Yes. Uh, on the fitness side, that's on the strong side. And, and then I have my glamour side, which is about the, but it's a little different and I'm going to explain my glamour. If you look at my pictures of the women on the beauty side, on the sexy side, um, these women are strong. These aren't women that um, are kind of like, oh, innocent and kind of helpless and that whole, like my, the pictures, these women, like these are, they're strong. They're not, um, they're not victim by any, uh, by any stretch. No, you don't sexualize the women at all. When I look at your photographs, and again, that's something that why I want you, if the borders ever open, um, for you to shoot me before <laughs> I turn 60, because I would just love, love, love to have that photo shoot with you to just capture before I turn 60 or in, well, you know what, we'll give it the year, in my 60th year. I, I, you know what, I'm, I'm confident they're going to open in the new year. So, I mean, that's as early as January. Okay, well, we'll do that. But th that's something that a lot of women, they choose a photographer that doesn't sexualize them. There are so many photographers out there that shoot sexy photos of women, but I don't like them because they're sexualizing the woman, the woman or the women. And what you capture is the empowerment of that woman, that strength and that confidence of the woman, even in a glamour shop where it's supposed to be sexy. It's not fitness. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, it, it's what I find appealing. I can't help it. <laughs> it's that easy. And so what do you ever have the fitness girls doing the glamour shots too, where you ever see a, a girl that's shooting fitness and you're like, you know what, I think you'd be great doing a glamour shot or a beauty shot, whatever you, you know, a softer shot, I guess you would call it. Right. I, I say this to everyone because I, there's a lot of conflict of people saying, well, why, you know, sexy pictures are, demeaning or degrading or, right. or whatever. And, and uh, you know, everyone's entitled to whatever they, they want to believe and that's fine. But I firmly believe that every single woman out there is entitled to the opportunity 
to be the most beautiful and the most sexy that she can. Have it captured, have it documented. The difference lies in whether you're going to share it on the internet or not. I mean, if you find it might be degrading, well, don't post it, but have those images of you looking in like a supermodel, looking gorgeous, looking beautiful. That does something to your confidence that makes you feel really good about yourself. Um, it's, it's better than any spa treatment um, and, and it lasts a lifetime. Those memories and the pictures last a lifetime. I know. I, as I said, I, I look back at those pictures and you pull different, different feelings out of me. And I love that I have that because that you captured a moment in time as you do with these other women. And you can be as sexy as you want. And as you said, you don't have to share them. But I think what a lot of women don't understand is that you are allowed to be a sexy person. That doesn't mean you are being sexual in the photo. That means you are showing off your... Con to be sexy, you have to have a little bit of confidence. You have to say, this is me. Yeah. This is who I am. I'm owning it. It, just, it doesn't have to be sexual. And I think that's what so many women get confused and get on the bandwagon and say, you're sexualizing this person. That's, that's too much. That's too racy. Who is to say what's too racy if that woman owns it and she's strong in her body? I know we've used the word strong so many times, but it, it's so true. If that woman's strong in her body and she feels good about that, I say, go for it. Show yeah. it. Yeah. It's, it's tricky because every, every scenario uh, is unique. And I mean, I have this one girl that I shoot, Danny, and she's a, a grade school teacher. And she, and that's not her real name. That's her, her model name because she loves the, how empowered she feels being beautiful. And for her, it's, it's, um, it's a journey that she's also a transformation uh, that she has, she lost a lot of weight and went from someone that was, you know, very self-conscious to I'm capable of looking this beautiful. And so but she has to be very careful what she shares because her husband is very supportive and loves that she's posting it. But at the same time, she's in an environment where, you know, she doesn't want to lose her job because it, might, it may be seen or inappropriate for her line of work to have that kind of image out there. So there, you know, and there's religious beliefs, there's family issues always, you know, even with the in-laws side and that. So there's so many reasons why to post or not to post. Um, and, it, and, and it really, like I said, everyone's entitled to be beautiful and sexy and that, whether you share it on the internet or not, yeah, that's entirely up to you. And right, if it other should people be, don't like it, that's their problem. Right. And there, there comes in the judgment and that's something yeah. that, uh, you know, I, I've fought my whole life. And especially when I started competing at 47 years old, there was the judgment of why are you going to get on stage and stripper heels in a bikini at 47? And I said, because I want to because I want to be my yeah. personal best. I want to be my physical. And, and what I learned about myself was that I could be mentally like better. And, and from every photo shoot I'm in, and I know being with you, I was like really intimidated because I knew that you shot all these amazing women. And I was like, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm probably, I think you even said I was the oldest woman you had ever shot at that time. I was 56. No, I think, I think you might have, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, there was nobody, I was probably the oldest person there doing that show in Vegas. Well, I, I, I shot a lot of commercial work and I've shot into the 80s. Okay. So, yeah. So. so it's just, um, you know, I, I think that if a woman has signed up to do a photo shoot with you, she's going to get, have such a great experience and hopefully leave with so much more confidence than she came in there and then getting the pictures and saying, wow that's me. That's me. He caught these amazing shots of me. Like this is, and again, whether you want to share it or not, but this is something you could hold close to your heart. And I, I really suggest strongly to all the women that I, I help change their lives, you know, who've lost weight, put on muscle, whatever their goal is to always do a photo shoot. Always, 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 because it's a moment in time and you should be so proud of yourself.
I don't know if I heard you there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I absolutely agree. My apologies. No, that's okay. So during the strong, I want to know a little bit more about the strong camps and um, actually also about what you do at Antivero. Am I pronouncing that properly? Antivero, yeah. Yes. So tell me about that publication. Uh, Andy Barrow is more of the sexier glamour side. Um, I mean, it, it had some nudity. We've kind of been back and forth a little bit about the um, censorship uh, issues with social media, with um, iTunes. And after a while, I just said, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm just not going to change it. I'm just, it's going to be what it's going to be. And we just won't be on the app store and we'll just release the magazine for free and just let it be um, for its own sake. And it's, uh, it's done really well. I mean, it's kind of a vanity project because I, I don't charge for it. It's a free subscription. Oh, okay. um, and it's a collection of photographic works of, of, of women and, and art too. We have artists that submit as well. And it's all based around um, the, the female form and beauty and fashion and glamor and fitness and you know, kind of all of that. And uh, it's done, you know, well, just being free. Um, yeah, that's, that's no, I don't know what else what, to say about what it. it. What well, are your favorite shoots to do? Are they the glamour, sexy, or the fitness? I, I kind of like the glamour. I find that the, the spectrum for uh, the glamour is just that much broader with the fitness. I find, well, the subject has to be fit for starters. So already that's a very tough uh, thing. And, you know, you'll find someone on the internet and say, oh, she'd be perfect for this. And she shows up. He's like, oh, well, that was during competition mode that I looked like that. Now I look like this. And I thought, well, I can't do this for that kind of genre of fitness. Um, you know, you, you want certain looks and that. So I find that the glam, the glamour stuff is just so much more easy to, to shoot. We can, you know, uh, uh, you can do just about anything. What do you do in the glamour shots? So, so give me an example of what a typical glamour shot would be. Oh, well, like even like the Stormtrooper series. Um, um, I did a, we, I, I saw one picture of, a, uh, of the, the, the bunny mask had the big bunny ears and it's a mask. And I said, Ooh, I, I ordered one online and um, actually I ordered two online just in case. And uh, they came in and I, you know, I, I shot a, a series with this one model. And of course, and it almost always happens. Uh, the moment I post that, I started getting emails from all these models that had shoots booked coming up saying, Oh, can I shoot with the bunny ears? And I said, of course, we call it the mask series. And, you know, so that became a trend. The stormtrooper became a trend. And, and the 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 nice thing about the glamour is that I can put a, a mask on uh, a model. I can like with the stormtrooper. I don't just have them wear the stormtrooper outfits, but I have them doing household chores, wearing the stormtrooper outfit. You know, clean washing the floors with their hands, uh, painting a wall. Like who comes up with dishes. these? Like who comes up with these ideas? They're amazing. Like yeah. they're they're so cool. Yeah, well, there's a problem with that is the next girl that comes in and says, I want to shoot with the stormtrooper at home. I'm like, what are we going to do, though? I mean, I mean, what else is there? Like, I don't know. Maybe if it's snowing outside, I'll give her a shovel and say, OK, let's shovel some snow in a bikini and high heels. So what's next for you? What do you have any other projects, any other magazines you're going to start? Any what what else? Uh, uh, um, you know, it's 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 kind of tough because I I. I, I, I'm, I'm really kind of happy where I am right now. And, you know, having uh, Vince and Jenny come on board with Strong and basically take it over, uh, effectively taking, taking over Strong, that's taken a lot of work off my plate. I mean, I still shoot for, for it, but now the, you know, the day-to-day -day, um, administration of it, that's off my table. I'm kind of, you know, I, I guess the question is, if, if I won the lottery, what would I do? because that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm kind of like, I don't really need to work too much for money. Um, so I'm like, what would I do? I, like, I would love to be able to just, you know, pick and choose a few models, fly may maybe to the, you know, Mediterranean and rent, rent a yacht, do some pictures on the coast of Italy or maybe in Spain, head down to Morocco. Can I come? You know, so that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know. Who doesn't want to come on that trip? <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I, you know, that's kind of the stuff I want to do. I want to be creative for fun rather than, then because I was hired that day to be creative. Um, you know, that's, 
rent a castle in Prague and, you know, with a bunch of models and do some crazy, you know, Stormtrooper uh, uh, <laughs> series or, or mass series or whatever. No, I, I love that you have all these creative ideas and that women are willing and, and excited about doing it because we, we do want to find interesting things that mm. like take us to that next level of, of wherever it is, of empowerment or strength or confidence. I, okay, so here's something I do we didn't touch upon is uh, we, I go to Vegas a lot. And so I'll take a group of 10, um, about 10. It's been as big as 25, but it's like herding cats when you have 25 models. Um, so about 10, 10 models, we go to, to Vegas and there's two rules. One, you have to come alone. And the reason for that is so that we go do dinner together. We, we go out to the events together. We do every, everything together and you're not being distracted by a partner saying, come on, we gotta go for dinner and you're missing out on group activities. And two, you have to skydive. And the reason for that is because everyone's terrified of skydiving. Like everyone's yeah. afraid of it. No one yeah. wants to do it. And a lot of people say, oh, I, I just won't go if, you, if I have to skydive. And I said, okay, well, let me know if you change your mind because you have to skydive. And the reason is twofold. That's so mean. Um, it, you know, it isn't, it isn't. I've done it. It's not like you know, you're skydiving and I'm not. No, I've skydived. Um, it, and, and it's life-changing. So basically everyone that comes back from after one of my videos, Vegas trips is like there's life before my Vegas trip with Paul and life after my Vegas trip with Paul. There, that is an absolute defining moment in their life because um, you've shared more than one near death experience uh, with this group of people. You have, I, I take about 50,000 pictures on these trips. Um, you have thousands of behind the scenes pictures. I actually go up in the plane and I'll get pictures with the, with the models as well before they jump out of the plane. And to give you an idea, the night before the skydiving, we warm up with what's called the sky jump off the stratosphere. That's a, ju that's a jump of 109 stories. And to be entirely honest, that's more scary than jumping out of a plane. But when you've jumped out of that and you have the videos and all the pictures, you've done group shoots. We do a Mad Max shoot, theme shoot, where everyone goes up into the desert and you know we're shooting the the whole thing we have these atvs and that and the pictures are amazing and then you jump out of a plane and we do more shoots and then we do the small kind of intimate party um well it's not that intimate it's a big pool party but we have our own area and then you go home and you're like whoa what just happened i jumped out of a plane i'm in these group shots i mean i did a mad max shoot i did all these pictures I'm like that, that you don't get a vacation like that they don't exist and, you know, you can kind of only experience them with this group. And uh, those trips are absolutely life-changing. Everyone says the same thing. And you came up with this idea because? I lost a bet and I had to jump out of a plane and it changed my life. And I said, I need to share this because I, like everyone else, I'm too smart to jump out of a plane. <laughs> but I did it and I realized just how life-changing it can be. Wow. Wow. I uh, was just watching a Mission Impossible movie and I saw Tom Cruise jumping out of the plane. And I said to my husband, I, I might want to do that before the end of my life. Just try it. So it's interesting that you brought that up because it is life changing. Absolutely. And we only have a few minutes left. And this is a question I ask everybody. And since you are so fearless, what does fearlessly authentic mean to you? Or how do you live a fearlessly authentic life? Um, I, I guess not listening to the, uh, it's not even non-listening to the, uh, the, the judgment. Um, because everyone has an opinion. Everyone has, which is fine. And I have opinions. Um, and this is one of them. And they don't really matter. Like, they, it doesn't matter. It's like, you don't like what I'm doing. I'm so Oh, I, I hope you get find your happy place because I love what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, it, it's like you're not thinking about political movements in the 18th century. But now that I mentioned it, you might. And, you know, people that say, oh, just don't listen to what other people say, don't listen, you know, are actually listening to what other people say. I literally, I, I don't understand why people are so hung up on what other people say. That's not something that affects me, but I hear it all the time. So it's basically living without judgment. With, without the fear of the judgment. fear of judgment that's great because you're going to be judged but not care and that's what you push women to do and that's why i wanted you on yeah. the show today because that's what you do so if anybody wants to reach you please tell me tell everybody how they can reach you 
You can find me anywhere. Uh, just Google Paul Buceta. Paul, B-U-C-E-T-A. You'll find me on Instagram, Facebook, or my website. Paul, amazing. We could talk forever about beauty, fitness, and everything. Um, it is such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so, so much for being on the show. And um, I hope we can get that photo shoot in sometime this year. Me too. Thank you. Yes. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.